Well, here's another mushroom. I know it very well, but uh, I've just never uh, got up the gumption to try it. Because to me, it has a smell that uh, is not very good. But, and I really can't describe the smell on YouTube. I guess I could, but it might get deleted or something. Yeah, these ones are old. When you find these young and you cut them open, it's it's sort of just solid inside, and it to me it almost has the look of uh, on the inside. I don't know, almost like if you sliced open a brain or something. But uh, and on the outside, it's about the same, except it's a whitish color and uh, kind of resembles uh, cauliflower. Some people f feel this is a good uh, edible. That is the aborted antiloma. And right next to it is a small unaborted antiloma. I don't know anything that looks like the aborted antiloma um, as, far, as far as color and everything. But, uh, you know, you still got to check that out for yourself and learn to identify this stuff. But... I figured I'd give you a look of it. It's it's uh, pretty common and fairly easy to identify, uh, almost by a good photo alone. I would think you could identify it. But see, these ones are uh, yuck. All mushy from the rain. This is the unaborted antiloma. It appears the gills run down the stem slightly. And I believe, although I could be wrong because I'm not up on my uh, terminology, I believe they call that decurrent when it runs down the stem, but you can check your field guide and uh, verify that one way or the other. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if uh, the unaborted form is edible. I, I think I've recalled people saying they've ate it, but don't quote me on that because I've never even ate the aborted form. Although I've been tempted a few times. There's a whole bunch. Let's see if I can find any fresh aborted ones. Oh, this one. This one feels pretty firm. Nope. Yeah, maybe not. We've had a lot of rain. I think a lot of these mushrooms have gotten sogged out. gotten waterlogged from the rain. Lots of acorns this year, man. I found a... See, I'm not sure if that's a white or a red, but uh, I found some whites uh, the other day and I tried uh, one and it was actually pretty good. Uh, although the whites, they contain less tannins than the, the reds. Uh, that You could still tell there was some tannin in there. I probably could have ate five of them or so and wouldn't have noticed too much, but you start getting that dry, tacky feeling in your mouth. And uh, you know it's got tannins in it because they dry your mouth right out. <laughs> But back to the aborteds. Do, 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 do. No, it doesn't seem like any of them are. Well, let's see. Oh. 
Got a mosquito trying to assault me. This one might be good. It's still a little bit pink inside, but and it's it's firmer. But they all seem a little bit on the spongy side.